hydrolysis calculations. Um, the first thing we want to do uh, is decide what type of problem we're doing. Um, at this point, I can ask you to find the pH of a strong acid. I can ask you to find the pH of a strong base. I can ask you to find the pH of a weak acid or of a weak base. And now of a salt, sort of, um, or of the weak acid or base hiding within the salt. So that's a lot of different problems that can all start with find the pH of. Um, we are only doing a hydrolysis problem if we start with a salt. Um, so when I read this question, find the pH when 2 grams of NH4Cl dissolve in 250 mils of water, um, like we've already practiced today, the first thing we have to ask ourselves is, is this an acid or a base or a salt? Um, and this keeps being the example I'm using today. So we know that this is a salt refresher. It's a polyatomic ion with a nonmetal. That's a combination that makes a salt. Um, so when I go to, now I recognize this is hydrolysis. I'm going to present it just as two steps. The first step is to figure out if it's acidic, basic, or neutral. Um, like we did in that last set of try problems. Uh, it, honestly, it's probably never going to be neutral because if I ask you to find the pH of something neutral, you should just know the answer is seven, um, and that's the end of it. And I probably am not going to—I'm not going to give you a trick like that. So it's probably acidic or basic. Um, you've seen me do this one already, so I'll do it rather quickly. Um, NH4Cl dissociates with a single arrow because it's a salt. NH4 plus plus Cl minus. Then I take these ions and I test them against water. The positive ion is going to grab the hydroxide and release the H plus. The negative ion is going to grab the H plus and release the hydroxide. Because this is a strong acid, this reaction doesn't happen. That is not strong, so this reaction does happen, releasing H+, and so we're dealing with something acidic. Um, then my second step is once I know if I have an acidic or basic solution, I'm going to do a weak acid or base problem. Um, for a weak acid or a base problem, how do you know if you're going to do a weak acid or a weak base problem? It all depends on the outcome from here. You would do a weak acid problem if you figured out that it's acidic. You would do a weak base problem. if you found out that it was basic. Again, it's probably not going to be neutral in one of these cases, because if it's neutral, we know the pH is 7 and there's not a problem to solve. Um, a few mistakes that people make that I'll try to clarify up front. When we say a weak acid, again, it's a weak acid because H plus was released. in the reaction with water that can happen, right? This reaction with water can't happen because it produces something strong, which is never going to stick together. This reaction doesn't produce something strong, so it produces something that can stick together. This reaction can happen. Um, that reaction that can happen was with NH4 plus and water, right? It was this reaction, NH4 plus and water. So when we do that weak acid problem, we're always going to use this ion as my, in this case, weak acid. So the ion that reacted with water in the reaction that actually happened 
that ion, the NH4+, plus, that is going to be our weak acid in our weak acid problem. So it's going to be NH4 plus on the left side of the arrow, and it's going to be NH4 plus that we look up the Ka value for. You might see the other thing, like on the right side of the arrow. Sometimes that's on the chart on the other side, like on the weak base section. Um, so it's important that you know that we always use the ion on the left-hand side in the reaction that actually can happen when we do our test against water. Sorry if I'm being too redundant. I'm just trying to make some things really clear. Um, so that's it. Now we do a weak acid problem. Um, I say it simply like that, but you'll see there's a teeny bit more to it. Okay, so to do my weak acid problem, I take my weak acid and I do whatever I do for a weak acid problem, which is dissociate it, ice chart, Ka. When I dissociate a weak acid, I don't add anything to it. I just use equilibrium arrows and H plus falls off and releases something else. Um, so you might notice sometimes that both of these things are on your chart. We're always using the one on the left. Always, always, always. Um, zero, zero, plus X, plus X. We need a molarity for here. I didn't give you a molarity. So this is the only other thing that might feel different. Um, I have grams which I can turn into moles and moles I can turn into molarity. Um, in terms of showing your work fully for full credit, NH4 plus is my weak acid. I don't have the grams of NH4 plus. I have the grams of the whole salt. So I can take those two grams and find the moles to then find the molarity, but I need to use the molecular weight of NH4Cl. Um, NH4Cl is going to have a molecular weight of 53.5. When I solve for the moles, realize that those are the moles of NH4Cl. And that will be 0 0.037. Then I can go on to find molarity by doing moles over the liters, turning this into liters. And I will get the molarity to be 0.15. But this molarity is the molarity of my salt. And I'm trying to do an ice chart with just one of these ions. So the reason we have this dissociation, and again, for full credit, you should show all of your work. We have the molarity of the NH4Cl. We want the molarity of the NH4+. Because it's a single arrow, we can use mole ratios one and one. So because of a one to one ratio, this is the molarity of my NH4 plus. And it can go in the ice chart. That didn't make sense. Pause and rewatch or log on and ask questions. But then I can keep going with my weak acid problem. So now hydrolysis problem, I expect to see the dissociation of the salt um, and taking the weak acid or base that you found hiding in it to do your weak acid or base problem. Um, Ka, products x times x or x squared over reactants. The Ka should be the Ka of my weak acid or base that was hiding in the salt. NH4 plus, um, and it's 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. So if I put this over one and cross multiply, um, I'm skipping some of the algebra here. After I cross multiply and square root, I get an X of 9.15 times 10 to the negative sixth. Looking in my chart to remind me, the X represents H plus in this case. As soon as I have H plus, I can negative log it to find my pH. If this were a weak base problem, I would have OH over here, and my X would represent OH. Um, so keep all of that in mind. It's not different than what you've learned before. When I negative log this, I get a pH of 5.04.